Greetings, Sindibai, from the eastern Nigeria. Let me bring you up to speed to the development in Anambra. IPOB distances east south from attack on U.S. Embassy convoy caused American intelligence investigation. Now, the indigenous people of Biafra, that's the IPOB, has disassociated itself from Tuesday's bloody attack and killing of some staff members of the U.S. consulate. Now, IPOB condemned the incident in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, that's Ima Powerful. They condole with the families of the victims. Now, IPOB said the masterminds and perpetrators of the attack on the U.S. Embassy convoy must be brought to justice. In the statement, Mapafu said that they are the that the U.S. government have said that no American citizen was involved in the convoy that was attacked, but the U.S. should carry out an unbiased intelligence investigation into the attack. Statement of the Emma Powerful read, I quote, It is important to note that those accusing IPOB of being behind the attack on the U.S. Embassy convoy are the real masterminds. Their quest to blackmail IPOB globally has led them to, into assassinating innocent people in Biafra land. For instance, these government agents assassinated al Gulak in Oware, and they assassinated an army couple in an undisclosed location in Biafra. They assassinated Dr. Akunyale in Anambra. In all these and many more of the state-sponsored murder cases, IPOB was accused. Until death, police never conducted an investigation on any of them. If not for the intel from IPOB and branch on the plans to assassinate ex-British High Commissioner Katrina Lang in 2022, and the warning from IPOB leadership for her not to visit the Southeast they will have assassinated her too. IPOB is up against a terrorist, murderous, and a vicious government whose main objective is to set up IPOB to set IPOB up against the international community and our international supporters. By the grace of God Almighty, all their blackmail and propaganda has amounted to nothing. Those linking P2B to these attacks on US embassy convoy are the ones that fingers pointing to in regard to the crisis happening in the southeast region there is no way they can link innocent p2b to it because he is from anambra state while the white house is here to carry out any investigation the nigerian government through her spokesperson madam garaba shehu has concluded their investigation as usual by accusing ipob this latest disinformation against ipob from garaba shehu simon edoga and other government agents and international propagandists in media has shown the level of hatred, vindictiveness and desperation to blackmail this peaceful IPOB and move, IPOB movement for self-determination by the Nigerian government and their cohorts. Once again, IPOB condemns the attack on the US embassy convoy and condoles with the victims and their families. We demand an independent investigation from USA intelligence on the US embassy convoy attack in Anambra State. We also demand that the result of the investigation be made public. We have zero trust in the Nigerian government and her security agencies to conduct any unbiased investigation because they are likely to the, because they are likely they call prudes. End of quote. Because they are likely they call prudes on the line. That is it. So, now someone is in Abuja. Someone is in Abuja and has made a statement that is IPOB. The investigators are already invest US has not said anything. They said they are investigating the matter. The Nigerian system has concluded their own already. Because they have template, template, international community. Listen to what we are saying now. They have template. That template, they have put up the, the, the IPOB name as the committer of a crime. So what they are waiting for is the crime that will be committed. Most of the crime will be committed by them. And 
maybe criminal elements will commit others. But most of the crime committed by the agents of government. And so they will merely put the IPOB's name and say they have done the investigation. So that is what they, they are doing. So this is a propaganda. Government of Nigeria has assumed a tourist dimension. It's very bad. International community come to the Eastern region. You will see what we are saying. They have assumed a tourist dimension. All in the name of blackmailing a group that is seeking for self-determination. Is that how to address such an issue? Internationally, world over, is dialogue. You bring these people. You dialogue with them. What is the responsible for the agitation? Let us discuss about it. You will now compromise. They will compromise. That's all. Things will level. If there's, if there's need for that, man. And if they said, look, we cannot compromise and this is what we want. I think they are free to say that self-determination is not a crime. If they say they want to go, allow them to go then. It's not a crime. A, a, a big nation like Igbo nation is not, it's not big enough to stay on their own. Of course, you have seen the contraption. The whole, uh, the, the, the whole thing in, in this country. We have seen it. We have seen the amalgamation of, 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 of Lugard. In 1914, we have seen the constitutional development from Danes, the Richards constitution, the Frederick and everything, the McPherson constitution, the development that continues and continues, and we have seen how, how this country has been run. I will know that, look, this is uh, strange people. British brought people together because of administrative convenience. And so they are not the same people, they are not compatible. So, and they have, over the years, shown that they cannot live together. So, for them to agitate, look, they want to free themselves, they want to go, it's not a crime. And the government of Nigeria is doing everything humanly possible to ensure that they derail, that derail the agitation. And that's why you see all these things happening. So, IPOB is making this refutile that they are not responsible because IPB is not a terrorist organization. When you go to the Boko Harams, the Iswab, the bandits, they own it. They will tell you they, they, they did it. They, they have destroyed people's lives. They will claim it. Say they did it. The full enhancement, they will, they will claim it. Say they did it. And so, but this IPB have told you they are not a terrorist organization. And they cannot claim responsibility of what they did not commit. The offense they did not commit, they will not claim responsibility. Over, what over, you see, terrorist organizations, they will, they are terrorists, this means they want to push terror. They want to put fear into people. That is terrorism. And they will always own the attack they have, they have carried out. Because they want to terrorize the people. Once you hear their name, you fear. But that people is not terrorism. They are using for referendum for their own people. Are they going to be killing people? You know the result of the effect of this thing? The killing of these uh, U.S. Uh, embassy officials. You know, there's only effect. What would result in Eastern Nigeria? So, IPOB is not going to uh, you know, allow the government of Nigeria to be bringing troops because they want to, secu they want to fight insecurity in the Eastern Nigeria. And those people, those uh, security agents, will be manhandling the Eastern Nigerians, even killing them extrajudicially. So IPOB will not go into such situation that we want the government to deploy their troops, troops, troops. Of course, you know that the actually infiltrated troops to come to eastern Nigeria. So this things that is happening, IPOB and is not in it. We have said it before, this is a futile. We are on ground, we are seeing things happening. We will not deceive anybody. Okay? Or put up a lies. So IPOB is not in it, even before this refutal. Come on board, we have seen it, we know what is happening. And so it's just a blackmail and propaganda. That is it. The government, those who are pointing a closing finger at the IPOB, they are most likely the culprits. So IPOB has called for the investigation of the US. Say, so investigate. Like we said before, US investigate. We are not afraid in eastern Nigeria. That is what IPOB is saying. So investigate this issue, this issue, and now you will know what we have been telling you before now about the government of Nigeria and everything.